concluded that based on the information provided as a note to part eight, that's the aforementioned footnote. Turn left on West I got them all. I got CNN, I got Fox, I got MSNB. I can give you anything you want. Mm. Disclosure requirements for a reportable liability under the Music, <laughs> whatever. The Republican or Democrat? Boy, you're getting off a personal. I mean, you listen to the news. I don't. I'm indifferent. I think I'm more independent now than Democrat. I used to be Republican. And then you decided to live in California, right? <laughs> then I decided they've lost their fucking mind. Oh, the Republicans, right? Oh, so you're not a fan of Trump? No. Yeah, he's an asshole, man. Yeah. Yeah, he's lost. Do you think he's racist or he's just an elitist? Or what do you think? I think he's racist. Racist? What do you think? Um, you know, a part of me, when I hear him talk, I think he's a racist, but I think just him being an elitist, him having, um, never having any worries with minorities. You understand what I'm saying? Like, being outside of his of his reality. Yeah. You know. Well, except him and his dad were his dad was a racist, for sure. Running buildings where they Yeah, in the seventies and eighties screaming against minorities, absolutely right. I think he was brought up that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a racist. But I think it's corrupt too. Think what? Oh, that. Oh, well, you, well, you know that. It's just a matter of whether they're gonna prove it beyond any doubt, and whether anybody will do anything about it. Mm. You know what rich people fully understand? They know how to break the rules, not the laws. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's just the reality of the game, you know, tax codes, uh, aligning yourself with the right people, being protected on all four bases. Covering your yeah, uh, CYA, you know. Deniability. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely right. And if one goes down, the whole the whole the puppet and the puppeteer goes down, you know, so it's uh it's challenging to even consider <laughs> taking Trump down, you know. Well, I think they have the puppet by the ball right now. It turns it on, so it's a super deep shit. Yeah. Why don't you bring them down to the puppet gear? I don't know. You think you'll get impeached? I don't think he'll get impeached. Because this year is a halfway mark, right? Yep. You know how long those proceedings will last? Yeah. <laughs> So, what they got to do is educate the voting, the voting electorate, you know. But it's going to be so split. But the supporters, you watch some of these people on TV from, you know, the Midwest somewhere. And mm -hmm. They're crazy. They love with the guy. Mm -hmm. And they don't realize that they've been conned by him. Mm -hmm. He's definitely a con man. He give a shit about them. He's an empty suit, for sure. I mean, he lacks, like, fundamental intelligence. <laughs> the one thing positive I would say about Trump is he made you believe that 
any job in this country outside of you know like the physical attributes of being a great athlete and all that is really possible you know you want to be ceo of microsoft you can be that you want to be president of america and be a racist you can do that <laughs> you know what i mean so i just you know from that standpoint he's inspired but the thing that I think the thing that bothers me most about it is a lot of progress has been made in our society. Sure. And now we're going backwards because he's he's like making people think it's okay to be a racist. And to have those ideologies, you're right. But it's all hidden behind the Constitution. A lot of it. The right to bear arms, freedom of speech, freedom of press, you know, so it's, it's, um, and when you have all white men signing a Declaration of Independence, right? <laughs> that makes it okay. The average American has a short memory and little knowledge of history. Absolutely right. They think we're all, you know, perfect. Mm -hmm. They have no recollection of the shit that's happened along the way. No, you're right. And the funny thing is, there's not even a candidate right now uh, with the ability to run. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who they're going to wind up running against. I mean, because the midterm election is 20, so 20. Wait a minute, 2018. Yeah, the midterms this year, and then, and then. So it should have been. So the the the. In all, realistically, he should have been. He or she should have been. Pre-campaigning now, you know, doing the late-night TV shows and. You know, I mean, galvanizing his votes. I'm, I'm interested to see who's going to beat Trump. I'm interested. I, like, I don't... I, I don't see an independent... I don't see a Democrat beating him. I see more of an independent, you know? Well, and I wonder, like, I've been thinking lately as I've heard more and more talk about it. You know, somebody like Garcetti could wind up having a chance because he's not so much the traditional insider. He's just a PC guy. I mean, we're all... We're all disgusted with uh -huh. Congress and all mm -hmm. that. So we need somebody from the outside almost. Mayor Garcetti? He's been a quiet mayor too. He's been out of the way. Yeah, he hadn't hadn't really done anything to, mm -hmm. to uh, Have you heard his name for president? Yeah. Oh you have? They're talking about it. They're, they're talking about it as a viable candidate. Wow. And he might have a shot because it's a different story than mm -hmm. the people who are the routine politicians and have been politicians forever uh -huh. in Washington. He's a good guy. He was a neighborhood guy. You know, he was a neighborhood activist and then turned, he was a neighborhood president, I believe, right? And then became a city councilman and then became mayor of Los Angeles. Already pursuing an inquiry into the president's financial disclosures last year? If they are, we didn't know that. Rachel Maddow is a doll. She's huh? a, she's a savage. She's a, I, I like her aggressiveness. I like her ability to stand by herself. That's she, she goes deep into some stuff and gives you some more background. Uh -huh. Just the surface. Although I'm kind of fed up with cable news. Cause I, don't even, I don't even listen. The whole thing, all the time, they, they, they spend all the time with people spouting off their opinion instead of going out and reporting a story. You know? yeah. oh, that's a great point. Let's go be journalists. But then I come from a family of journalists. So oh, you do? Yeah, all the way back to my great grandparents. Oh, really? Newspaper? Yeah. yeah. What city? In uh, Kansas. Beautiful. What's it called? The Kansas Star? What's it called? It was a small town uh, newspaper in Kansas. Okay. Just outside of Kansas City. Okay. But then my uh, my great grandparents, my grandma, mother, and then my father, and then I broke the chain. Oh, okay.
Did you do any journalism here in L.A.? No. When we moved here, my dad, my dad was always like a small town newspaper editor. Mm -hmm. We moved to Ventura County. Okay. Camarillo. Okay. When I was a kid. Mm -hmm. And he was at the paper there for many years. All the time I was growing up. And then he bounced around other places. You know, honestly, I was thinking, you know who I was thinking, um, you didn't get in the wrong lane, you good, you're solid, you have the option of taking Manchester or the freeway, yeah, um, uh, what was I going to say, I honestly thought Michelle Obama would give it a shot, I think she's tired, I mean, it, it must be extremely fatigued, you know, she fits the mold. I'm really interested to see who they're going to run out there. <laughs> I don't know. I'd vote for Melania before I'd vote for Donald again. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she has a more, she's more human, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, I think, you know, this is nothing that anyone will ever know, but I think she's fed up with him. Oh, yeah, you think. I mean, imagine the humiliation that she's going to right now because of his bullshit. Mm -hmm. And besides that, just, you know. I mean, when he was fucking Stormy Daniels, it was a month after her kid was born. Yeah. It's just how messy he was as well, you know? Yeah. Just messy. It's hard for me to condemn a man for cheating because I'm a man and two, I have friends, you know what I mean? So so if I condemn him, right? I have to I have to look my ten friends in the eye and say, You can't be doing that, you know what I mean? So that's what you have to do a better job. Do a, trying to not get caught do a better yeah, job you understand what i'm saying you know mm -hmm. you're absolutely right i um you don't have to humiliate her in the process yeah i agree with that because look at antonio viragosa how many times was he caught cheating on his wife and now he's running for senator right so no, his wife had cancer and he cheated on her right so go figure I mean, does he even have a cabinet left? <laughs> and not one minority. Well, the Herb McCain. Uh, Herb McCain. I think McCain is the uh, urban housing, right? Yeah, Ben Carson. Ben Carson. Not yeah, Ben Carson. Yeah, thank you. Herb McCain. Who the hell is that? <laughs> John McCain, I was thinking, but yeah, Ben Carson is uh, urban development, urban relations, something like that. Housing, yeah. <laughs> 